What's up everybody, welcome back here on the channel. Today is Hot Wheels time and we do have some pretty cool stuff to take a look at. First of all, we have some premium models or models from the Gold series, how they call this now. Some of them extremely hard to find on the packs. Then we have two models uh, from the Silver series, Speed Graphics. Then we have this guy here on the side, uh, this Volvo 250 Drift Camper Set, or however this is called. This is a new casting, by the way. And yeah, then we have some other stuff to show. But um, yeah, I would say let's get started. First of all, we have this guy here, the Golf Mark 7. Uh, this is an older casting, but um, yeah, I wanted to have this one. This is the whole set that you can see here on the back with the Alpha, the Supra, the Volkswagen Brazil and the Audi S4 Quattro. Uh, yeah, I have to say this set, is, I would say, isn't too popular and this was the only one that I wanted to have. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at it. Here he is. It's a really nice casting in my opinion. Um, I like these white six spoke. We don't have too much deco on this guy. The uh, livery is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of a metallic blue with a tiny shade of, I would say, gold or something in it. Um, yeah, pretty nice. We get some crisp details on the back and on the front. And uh, by the way, the windows aren't are not completely blacked out. Uh, they are just very dark tinted. This thing has an interior. So uh, yeah, let's put this guy to the side as we go on with something a little bit more interesting in my opinion. This is a new casting, the Mazda 323 GTR. Um, yeah. I really like this one. Many people in our family drove Mazdas and one of them also had, of course, not a GTR version, but the regular version of uh, this car. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty plain version. Here it is. And I have to say, this looks really good. And uh, I think it's really hard to find, although it's not a supercar or something, but it looks really, really good. Although it's just white, but once again, nice uh, details on the front, pretty uh, crisp. We get some um, yeah, details on the side. I really um, like the rims, the white rims that match this model very well. I think this whole thing looks pretty cool because the wheels are, let's say, Big, but not too big in my opinion. And yeah, that's the back. Looks also very good. Icy and hot a license plate. There's one little issue with this one, as you can see here. I guess it's because of the side print. The um, yeah, tail lights aren't perfectly lined up. Um, yeah, but we got some indicators here on the side. Uh, all in all, um, really, really nice model, uh, right-hand drive, by the way. Yeah, I'm happy that I found this one. So let's put this guy into the parking lot. And the next model that is uh, nearly impossible to find, although I'm here in Europe, and Japanese cars aren't as popular as in the US, for example. But um, yeah, this is also a new casting and it comes in this really cool spoon livery. So yeah, seems like it's very sought after. And here it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you take a close look, as always, um, you will see that these prints you can you can see the pixels um, in there, which is always a little bit of a disappointment. And uh, by the way, I'm yeah thinking about quitting 
collecting these premium models because many stores now here um, in Germany um, charge 12 euros for a Hot Wheels premium car, which is insane in my opinion. Um, just, I mean, not too long ago, I bought Matchbox 5 packs for 6 euros. So you can get two Matchbox 5 packs. I mean, those are basic cars, um, but you get, you know, 10 Matchbox basic cars for one um, of these. I don't know. It's, it's just too much, but uh, we will see. But I'm definitely not going to buy whole sets anymore. As you can see, I just picked out always the coolest ones of these sets. Uh, and by the way, here in this set, um, for me, the only other interesting model is the Porsche. But um, yeah, we'll see if I'll find that. I mean, this guy here was more important. Uh, same thing with the, this set here, by the way. Um, I guess uh, many of these will be um, pack warmers. I think the Myers Manx is a, is a new casting but not um, really interested for me. And I also think the um, Acura doesn't look too good. So um, I guess, especially the Ford Transit Super Van will sit on the shelves for a very, very long time. But uh, once again, let's get back to this guy, black uh, five spokes looking really good. I get this nice deco all around. Um, yeah. In this case, no issues and a lot of deco. The wing, by the way, is uh, plastic here on the back. Yeah, pretty happy to have this one. Looks very good. Into the parking lot it goes. Uh, then we go on with uh, another model, which, um, yeah. is a very popular, the Barbie Corvette. And uh, yeah, I have to say, I like this Barbie stuff when they throw it on Hot Wheels models, always um, looks kind of cool. Um, by the way, I have no idea on uh, these pop culture sets, they don't show the other models of the set, but um, you know that in this set, there is also the Audi RS6 with this really cool um, Audi deco. Couldn't find that. These fly off the shelves and uh, yeah, missing that one. Definitely want to have this. Couldn't find it so far. Anyways, I'm happy to have the Barbie. And I think in this set are also two Batman cars. I don't know why they do this. Once again, pack warmers until, I don't know summer next year no idea uh, anyways uh, let's take a look at our barbie corvette here it is um yeah what can i say it looks really good um with these uh, neon yellow uh, rims i mean um as always if they do and if they put white on a, a this case a pink car you can see a little bit um, shining through so the white isn't really white it has a shade of pink in it that's uh, yeah. but you know in the end um, this is a really 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 nice uh, model and uh, yeah I guess I guess not everybody will like it it's a little bit controversial uh, because it's not a real race car or something. It's just pop culture. But, um, yeah, I really like it. Uh, so let's put our Barbie into the parking lot. Uh, oops. Then uh, I bought this thing here. We also have the Myers Manx in a uh, monster truck uh, Barbie version, which is also pretty cool. I leave this in the packaging because uh, I don't have any space um, on the display for those. Yeah, just a quick view, really nice. Then I guess um, this is pretty interesting uh, because 
this thing here, um, many might think you have already seen this, the Volvo 250 Drift Wagon, but this is a new casting. So let's open this setup. There we go. So let's see if we can detach. the trailer but um, I'll be honest with you I have no idea how that works I don't want to um, break something so uh, didn't try it out before the video maybe I should have done that anyways um this is really cool um, let's Put the rotate a little bit to the side for a second. I think this is uh, easier. So there we go. Um, so as you can see, this here, this is, um, I guess it's also the original version. Yeah, we've seen, I think, two or three versions of this uh, Volvo 250 drift wagon. There we go. This, uh, as you can see, with the dogs looking out the back window. Um, so let's uh, put them next to each other. And as you can see, this is definitely a modified version. Uh, something missing here on the back so that they could attach the um, trailer. Um, and interestingly, this thing here has the side pipes on the left side. This one doesn't. It has on the, them on the right side. And also, we don't have this... Uh, sunroof transparent sunroof uh yeah this guy here is kind of a i don't know if you can call it a roof rack but yeah there we go that's how it looks carbon fiber hood which is pretty cool i also um like the color combination by the way it's uh, really nice or Camping uh, trailer here has some uh, details on the roof. Take a close look. Got some rope and uh, <laughs> once again a skateboard. It's pretty nice. So this is a pretty nice um, model of this. Uh, what is it called? Trek Trek fleet, I think. The other ones are a little bit um, too crazy for me, but uh, yeah, then. Still have more uh, than we got this um, Range Rover Classic from the Silver Series. Um, this is the Speed Graphics set. They had the whole set in the store, which you can see here on the back with the Porsche 914 Safari, the Mazda RX-3 and the Big Air Bel Air. I only bought the Civic and the Range Rover Classic. The thing is, as I, you know, that sometimes so this year in this set, they um, put two models with a metal base in such a set. And I think there was one set um, where all of them had metal bases. I think in this set, none of them has a metal base. Um, definitely not the two that I bought. And I don't really get it, to be honest. So um, the point is, these are pretty expensive. Four euros and 50 cents or five euros for, let's be honest, it's just a mainline model with a little bit more deco. So these have plastic bases. Let's put our Range Rover here on the turntable. I mean, it looks really cool and we get more deco than on a, yeah, let's say, regular mainline model. And we have also um, yeah, these wheels, uh, saying Hot Wheels, by the way, which is, uh, a little bit uh, annoying if they had uh, the name of a tire company would be cooler but anyways um yeah i i wanted to have this one because it's uh, kind of an i would say iconic deco but yeah it's it's kind of expensive five euros for let's be honest a mainline model is a lot of money and uh 
I don't know how I will handle it in the future, but I'm, I'm definitely going away from buying a whole set. So um, basically, I think this whole set is pretty interesting if they would sell it for, I don't know, two euros, 50 cent per piece or maybe three euros. And I think that would be a fair price because it's just a little bit more paint. And I guess it's not that expensive that you pay, uh, let's say, three times the price of a mainline model. Anyways, it looks good. Yeah? Let's be honest. Into the parking lot it goes. The other one is um, this guy here that I bought, 99 Civic Type R in uh, Falcon Deco. Uh, something couldn't pass on. Uh, here we go. I mean, yeah, uh, I forgot. These have kind of exclusive or let's say exclusive for the silver line wheels but um yeah it's in my opinion it's definitely not that expensive in production anyways it looks good what can i say uh, falcon livery always pretty good and of course we get full deco on this model including headlights and taillights it makes these models look so much better uh yeah um that's basically all um with unboxing i have some stuff that i bought that didn't show on this channel i like this uh, custom acura integra sedan gsr um yeah let's stay in its packaging and yeah, this was a pretty cool set by the way we got the um this new porsche and the mercedes i already showed them here on the channel Oops. so uh, yeah let's put this to the side then i bought this thing here, um, the dairy delivery in this really cool MTV deco. I mean, here it's all about the deco and the car that for me, I grew up with MTV and yeah, just looks good. Um, no need to get this out of its packaging for me because yeah, it comes in a protector and, uh, it's nice to look at the car and the model and also this Beavis and Butthead packing pacer is also really neat in my opinion. But no need to get it out of its packaging because yeah, car is interesting. And then I have this uh, team transport set which uh, comes uh, with a new deco for the 300 SL, but it's not that spectacular that I thought about buying two of those. And we've already seen um, this, uh, all I called this Blaue Wunder. I think there's a minimal, um, a minimal difference to the one we've already seen in the diorama set, but um, nothing too spectacular so uh yeah let's sum this up and let's take a look at uh, the models from this uh, unboxing and uh, you know i always pick a favorite and uh, yeah it's pretty hard this time i mean i really um like the civic with the spoon deco the barbie definitely but i think this time it's uh, this focus plane version of the Mazda 323 GTR. I mean, this looks really good, except our uh, little issue with the uh, taillight, but it is how it is. Uh, yeah, there you have it. My unboxing of some uh, 2024 Hot Wheels Premium models and some other stuff. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting and see you next time. Bye.